going to keep you in my pocket and Demarge in the box. Exactly. Yeah. Oh! Another day, another epic Ellen DeGeneres scare fest. And yes, even rappers like Drake don't even know what hit him. Jumpman, 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 Ellen's up to something. Woo! Oh, come on, you were thinking it too. Drake was in for the scare of a lifetime when he paid a visit to the Ellen show yesterday, and this time around, it was Drake who became the Jumpman. Ellen gave the cue for the scare after she replayed the video of herself dancing around with a pocket-sized animated Drake on her head, and it was all downhill from there. It, I, I always uh, w would like to think that you're with me. Yes, I am. Yeah. I'm, I'm always dancing. I'm always dancing on your head. Yes, I don't know. yeah. I'm gonna keep you in my pocket and Demarge in the box. Exactly. Yeah. Oh! Oh! And what makes this even better is that just minutes before the epic scare, Drake even predicted someone to be in the box after he talked about nine-year-old Demarge that Ellen sent to the NBA All-Star Game to hang out with Drake. Check it out. It was really, it was really good. He's, he's like, I wish he, would, I wish he popped out of yeah. like a drawer or something. Yeah, he, he's, he's not going to. <laughs> it, would, um, it would also probably, yeah, yeah. it would be weird but, if you kept him in yeah. like a little box. Was, well, that was a close one, but an even more slightly awkward moment was when Ellen, the mastermind behind making all potential celebrity couples, friend couples, and or actual just friends, got to grilling Drake about his questionable romance with Rihanna. After showing him many not safe for work photos of the two grinding on each other on stage, she joked, you and Rihanna are friends, and I know that, just friends, only friends. To when Drake, attempting to hold back his laugh, replied, that's friendship at its finest right there, and we cannot argue with that one. And finally, Drake gushed all about hosting SNL for the first time and everything we didn't get to see on camera that goes on behind the scenes. He revealed that he was constantly out of breath from running from scene to scene, having no time to prepare for performing after one of the scenes, and even shared a traumatic flashback of all the intensity that goes on. And it's like one of those things where you're backstage and people think that you might have like 10, 15 minutes to prepare. It's like it's one minute, 30 seconds. Someone's holding you by your waist. And like they're nice about it at first. Like they'll have your pants and make like, step into your pants. Step into, step into your pants. And it's like, <laughs> you know, it gets really, it gets really intense. But comical demands aside, Drake had nothing but incredible things to say about the pure talent and rewarding experience he had hosting. And of course, if you tuned in last Saturday, you'd also see that he totally killed his performance and hosting gig because a duh. So we've seen it all, from Drake getting the crap scared out of him to hosting SNL and that awkward re-re moment. But right now, I want to hear from you guys. Let me know all your thoughts on Drake's interview with Ellen right down here in the comments section below. Or you can find me on all the social medias at Rude Unicorn. And then when you're done with that, don't forget to click right over here to see even more of the hottest Drake and Rihanna moments on Listed. Thank you so much for hanging out with me here on Clever News. I'm your host, Sarah Whittle, and I'll see you next time. And then click to the left to check out some of the best girl groups of all time put to the test on Debatable. And click to the right to check out a few songs you didn't know were dirty on Throwback.